How's it going everybody? Back again with a new video. Uh, today is going to be a follow-up video on a previous one I did on the FP footprint shoes. So this is uh, my six month recap on them. I spent about six months skating these shoes, which is a pretty decent lifespan. I mean, I don't do the most flip tricks, but you can see uh, we definitely have quite a bit of wear and tear. And I'm just going to get into a little bit of what I liked and disliked about these things. Although, um, it does kind of seem moot because I don't know if they're even making these anymore. <laughs> they're no longer on their website. And uh, yeah, so there's they've only got three shoes on their website now. So I don't really know what the state of their company's in or whatever. But I figured I told you guys I'd do it. So here we go. All right, my initial impression of these shoes is they're pretty true to size. I wasn't a huge fan of the overall look of them. I would have liked to get a different colorway, but this is all they had available when they were running their sale. I did get these on sale. I need to probably say that from the beginning. They're normally about $90 or so, and I got them for 50. So then this was kind of what I ended up with. They have this kind of like suede cap to them, and it almost looked like a dancing shoe or something. Like, wasn't a huge fan of the overall look of them but I did get a lot of comments and uh, compliments on them people like oh those shoes are sick who makes those da 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 so that was pretty cool but uh, my biggest complaint with it from the very beginning was the so these have the FP inserts like baked into them they're in the insole so you don't have to wear those aftermarket ones that you buy on their website to put in other shoes they have them in here which is really cool but they did the insert they did have in there was this very thin uh, it was just really really thin insert and it would like crunch up and get all wrinkly under my foot as i skated especially as my shoes would get damp from sweating all that type of stuff they would kind of crumple up inside of there also that being said they came with these they called them heel savers they're like these little green i don't have any more because i threw them away they're these little green pieces of hard foam that I guess would go under your heel. Uh, I tried using those in there, but in that process of doing that, it made my feet go numb. Like I would skate these for a couple hours and my feet would start going numb. I don't know if it's my foot in general or just something weird about the shoe. I do have bad feet, so I can't necessarily blame it on that wholeheartedly, but it kind of felt like that was something wrong there. So I took those, insert, those uh, heel savers out and it kind of helped but then I was still getting those scrunches. So what I actually ended up doing was I took the inserts that the FP inserts that I was using in the vans I had prior to this and I put them in this shoe, which felt kind of odd at first having that double insert. But that being said, it, it got better after a while and it kind of broke in better. So I was, I was happy with it at that point. Um, my feet weren't going numb and I was able to skate in them a lot longer. Let's take a look at the bottoms of them here. So the back foot here, you know, held up pretty well, starting to get pretty much bald under the toe. The front foot here, uh, about the same, a little bit more under toe. The, obviously I don't do a lot of switch or nollie cause these are pretty much unscratched. <laughs> um, and these are like the exact opposite. They've been pretty chewed up. They've got this kind of like rubbery i don't know what this is necessarily it's kind of like behind the suede liner though to reinforce it seemed to do pretty well um until this started tearing through was really the main issue uh, i was starting to tear socks and stuff like that but you know as you can see this held up pretty good here pretty good here the stitching went before anything else um, besides obviously this hole and that hole same up here i was eating up shoelaces like crazy uh, definitely went through probably like five or six shoelaces. I don't know if it's just the way these are laid out, but yeah, this was getting torn up. So that was definitely, uh, not very good, but I mean, you know, it's a skate shoe. What do you expect? It's going to get torn up. I will say the impact, especially with the double, uh, the insert and the ones that are in here, the impact felt pretty good. That was the whole reason why I went with this was because I had, uh, bruised my ankle last summer or uh, my heel last summer and I was just continually getting impact on it Somebody had recommended the FP inserts at that point I rode those for a while and I actually had to jump out of some stuff uh, With these and I didn't re-bruise my heel really so that was good They definitely didn't breathe very well. There was definitely a lot of sweaty days in here I'd come home my feet would be soaked uh, I also, you know, my feet sweat pretty bad just in general as a person, so maybe that's just telling of myself. But I imagine just with the thickness of this 
the suede, those extra layers, it just wasn't a very breathable shoe. I will say overall, the, um, the bonding of the outer sole to the body of the shoe stayed pretty well. You can see on this one where I wasn't doing very much flipping or kicking or anything like that. Uh, there's no separation and that's something, I mean, there's a little tiny bit here, but that held up pretty well overall. That's definitely one thing I feel like I end up having with a lot of skate shoes is this will separate from the body. And uh, these did a pretty good job of not doing that. So that was good. I did end up ripping this little thing at some point somehow. I'm not really sure, but you know, little aesthetic thing did not affect performance. Um, I think these, I may be wrong, but these came with it. I thought these were their rubber core, no tear laces, uh, which I hope they aren't because they did. They did tear. Uh, that's how we ended up with these. I've gone through about three or four, you know, regular laces since then. But yeah, so that's kind of to be expected with skating though. Overall, I wouldn't say I hated the shoe. It was, but I didn't really love it either. It's kind of like, eh, uh, especially with the price point. I know a lot of shoes are getting up there nowadays. You know, you're usually having to pay $90 for a skate shoe now, but uh, yeah, I, and I mean, I got six months out of them. I can't really complain. A lot of people would be happy with a month or two. You know, I'm Joe Everybody Skater. I'm not doing a ton of flip tricks all the time. I skate maybe a couple times a week. So it's not really, you know, a couple times if I'm lucky, maybe three times if I'm doing real good. So, I mean, I don't rip through product as quickly as I used to when I was younger, of course. But, you know, overall, I, I, I say they did pretty good, but the lack of availability and the feet numbing thing and then just kind of the weird mixture of the inserts, like that was kind of a deal breaker for me wanting to go back to them again. Not to mention I do like a mid to high top and if they stop making this, there's not really much for me and what I like there anymore anyway. Uh, I have talked to a couple other people who've been skating the shoe. Uh, one guy who skates here locally says he loves them and he'll never ride any other shoe as long as they make them. So, you know, there's mixed opinions on it like with anything. I think that's one thing to take into account with shoes in general is nobody's foot's the same, nobody's fits the same. So, you know, find what works for you. This necessarily wasn't it for me. Uh, I am going back to Vans now just because of availability and all that. So that's one thing I kind of want to touch on too um, in this video. Speaking of the availability of these shoes. So like I said, they only have three shoes on it. They're a smaller company, understandable. Uh, it's kind of seemed like, and maybe this is something other people can weigh in on within this, is it almost kind of seems like the skate shoe industry has narrowed quite a bit. Uh, maybe since COVID, availability, maybe just the, the big names getting involved. Like Nike's been in the game for a while, but now we have New Balance and Adidas also taking up a lot of that stock. Uh, I've been trying to figure out what I wanted to go to next and, you know, doing all this research, I thought about going Etnies, you know, I tried, I thought about going uh, with New Balance. I really wanted to keep trying new shoes because like I said, I've been using Vans forever, but um, yeah, it kind of seemed like there wasn't as many options out there as there used to be, especially I like a mid top. Uh, didn't want my ankles exposed. I, I've had a lot of ankle injuries over the years and stuff like that. I like having that extra support of like a mid to a high top. Uh, so there's not a lot of options out there for that. You got the Vans uh, Skate Highs. Those are like a classic. You know, you've got the, the Half Cabs, which is what I had before this. I wasn't super stoked on those. I felt like they were too cushiony and I actually had mine tear out pretty quick. Like I only got a couple months out of those. Um, and then... You know, there's some other companies. Etnies has a high top. I mean, Nike has those highs. I don't. I don't want to ride Nikes. I don't really support Nike. I don't like what their company stands for, and like all the things that they've brought to skateboarding aren't necessarily helpful in my opinion. Uh, whatever, roast me for that all you want. I don't really think that their um, reputation for how they make their shoes. And maybe I'm misinformed. Maybe there's a bunch of other shoe companies, maybe all of them are made with uh, poor ethics when it comes to their manufacturing process, but I'm pretty sure, as far as I know, Nike has a pretty tarnished record when it comes to how they make their shoes, so I don't I don't want to ride those at all. Um, but yeah, that's why I ended up back with Vans, because like I know Vans, I know they're a corporate company, but like when I lived out west, they would come and host contests, they would do things 
you know, they are actively involved still in the skating community in one way or another. Maybe they're still their own thing. I would have loved to try a smaller company. I was thinking about Last Resort or something. I just wasn't really liking the look of their shoes. Um, and I couldn't find them anywhere to try them on. I kind of went out on a limb just trying these FP shoes through the mail. And I'm sure you all know how much of a pain in the ass it is to do that. Um, to, to get shoes through the mail. Wait a two weeks almost sometimes. Oh, okay, cool. They got here. They don't fit. Let me send them back and wait again. That's kind of what I'm going through right now is I decided to, I tried to shop around locally first. Couldn't find any shoes that I liked. Ended up finding um, these Vans. They're like Jeff Grosso um, special edition ones where they're like a mix between like the classic low and the skate highs. It's kind of like a mid top version of that. Um, I used, that's probably like the, the shoe I've skated the most is that skate high. But, you know, it's a little on the high side. They definitely don't breathe very well, which I don't think these ones are going to breathe very well either. But um, I wanted to give those a try. And I got 11s, which I usually wear. They're a little tight. Like, I can kind of feel some pinching going on. So we will see if those end up working out. I really don't want to have to send them back. Um, I took the FP inserts that I've been wearing, washed them, because they were pretty gnarly. Uh, washed them in some white vinegar and OxyClean and all that stuff. And got them nice and crispy again put them in my new shoes uh, it feels a little better than at that point because these ones are already broken in I'm hoping they kind of stretch out I know those skate highs always get really soft over time and these ones start out pretty stiff so I'm, I'm hoping that I don't have to exchange those um, but yeah pretty much that's all I wanted to touch on was the state of the skate shoe industry and maybe skating in general maybe it's a telling of a bigger picture but the just for my personal uh, time in the last few months just looking around and trying to figure out what skate shoe to get next uh, Just left me with more questions and even less options. I felt like so yeah, maybe I'm wrong Feel free to correct me below and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thank you